Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, vlog number two. This one is more about me and my health. Um, in the first vlog, I told you that guys were going through um, medical issues, so I'm gonna run it down for you real quick and let you know what I've been going through the last two months, just yeah, close to two months. About two months ago, I woke up one morning um, with tightness of chest, um, shortness of breath, my nostrils were so clogged up, I couldn't breathe. Um, I ignored it for three days because I didn't have a fever, I didn't have any other symptoms. I thought maybe it was just some weird allergy, some asthma, but I don't have asthma. But you know, I live in Florida, so the weather down here is kind of bipolar. So I tried to ignore it, and after the third or fourth day, I took myself to the emergency room. Uh, they admitted to me, and I was in the hospital for about three days. After it was all said and done, they tested me for COVID. I was negative. Um, they said it was a gastro problem. Gave me some anti, um, acid reflux medicine and sent me on my way. And after a week of being out the hospital, I didn't get any better. I didn't feel any better. I was actually feeling worse. So I took myself to another local hospital and I was there maybe a couple hours. They gave me a cocktail of a bunch of liquid medicine and I did feel better for maybe a day, day and a half, but I still had the same problems. Tightness of chest, like three or four times a day it would come and go. It wasn't like a, a constant tightness of chest, it would come and go. Um, then, it was hard for me to eat. I couldn't eat because I was throwing up everything. And so I was afraid to eat because every time I would throw up, it would make my symptoms worse. My chest would get so much tighter. My nostrils would get so much more clogged up to where I couldn't blow my nose or nothing. No air was coming out of my nostrils. So I stopped eating because I didn't want to feel that pain. I didn't want to feel like I was gasping for air every minute of the day. So from Two months ago till now I've had the same symptoms every day not as bad as I had the first month they've been a little bit more mild but still there like today was really bad on my tenderness of chest and I was I had to run around doing a bunch of stuff to get ready for my procedure on Thursday where they put the scope down your throat and check your stomach and your esophagus and everything to see if there's a blockage um, ulcer tumor something in there that's stopping uh, food from going down and causing this tightness of chest. So I have that on Thursday. I had to go get tested for COVID-19 again, just to make sure I don't have it because they don't want to spread it in the outpatient facility that I'm going to for this procedure. And I understand, so I had to run around today and do that. But for the last two months, like I said, I was 296 when the last, check the, the last time I checked my weight, when I was, before the whole pandemic and before I, I got sick, I was 296. And I know I didn't lose any weight before I got sick because I like to eat and I, I've always loved to eat. But I, I've since checked my weight the last two months. I've been feeling these symptoms and I'll show you in a sec. 53. Now that's a big weight loss. That's in two months. 40 pounds in two months. That's because I haven't been able to eat because it would come back up. So I was afraid to eat. So hopefully Thursday they can find out what's wrong with me because all I want is all I want is answers. And once you have an answer, you can try to find a solution. It's when you don't know and you don't have that answer. It kills you every day not knowing what is wrong with me, what is wrong with me. Doctors are telling me this doctors are telling me that it could be this it could be that i don't want to know what it could be i want to know exactly what it is and if there's a way to fix it then we'll go that route if there's not a way to fix it there's nothing i can do i mean you just gotta take what life gives you and accept it but just to have an answer i, I would be happy with an answer to know what exactly it is 
But in my vlog today, you'll see me running back and forth, going to get tested for COVID. Um, I also went and bought a laptop, but I don't think I recorded any of that. I had to get a new laptop. My old one was just older than my son, so I had to get a new one, especially for editing and uploading and all that. I don't want one that was take 10 years to upload a two minute video. So I'm gonna hop in the shower um, and I'll see you guys after I'm done. Enjoy. Well, I'm on my way to get tested for COVID-19 before my procedure this Wednesday. So I have to go get tested, make sure, they wanna make sure I guess I'm negative before they put the camera down my throat to check out my stomach, esophagus and all that to see what's, uh, what's the problem inside of me that I can't eat and i having problems with uh, tightness of chest and just a whole bunch of problems that I've been to the hospital for. I mean, I, I've already explained it earlier, but um, hopefully this Wednesday I can find out what's going on and see, hopefully maybe they give me some answers. Because, uh, like I said earlier, it's not fun. It's it's uh, scary, scary situations at, at times. But uh, should be up here on the right. Yeah, it's coming up right here. There it is. Outpatient center. I guess I pull in here and I give them my ID and tell them I'm here for a test. I'm guessing. I might not be able to have the camera out, so I will talk to you guys when I'm done. Well, that was fun. Stick that needle all the way into my brain to test for the COVID. <laughs> but I haven't been out the house much, really, ever since I was in the hospital. Like I said, I almost two months now and I still have the same symptoms not as bad as some days but some days it's, it's it takes over the whole day and I it's just not fun but we'll find out they, they said they won't call me if it's negative but if it's positive they'll call me and let me know if it's positive I can't get the proce procedure obviously because they don't want to put their doctors their nurses or anybody else in a facility at risk and I understand that, but I haven't been out the house. I haven't been in contact with anybody that's been out of the house for the last almost month and a half. So I should be good. Should be. Never know what's going to happen. It's a crazy time. I'm only 38 years old and I feel like I'm having problems of a uh, elderly man, 60s, 70s. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I'm just having uh, panic attacks or anxiety on top of everything else that's going on in the world. Don't know. But hopefully this test uh, that happens Wednesday, the endoscopy will shed some light on why I can't eat, why I can't keep anything down, why it always feels like I'm full when I haven't eaten anything at all. Like I said, I've lost about 40 pounds in two months maybe. And I don't mind the weight loss. I was trying to lose weight. I was up to 290 and I wanted to get down to actually 230, 220, get a good fitness weight and start working out and exercising again. But this way did it, I think the wrong way because of the sickness or the illness or whatever is going on in my body. But at least I lost the weight. Now I just got to keep it off once everything is fixed if it can be fixed if whatever happens medication operation so uh just wish me luck on the surgery that'll be in the next video so that's that check back with you guys in a little bit that was refreshing after a long day nice hot shower is exactly what i needed anyway so thank you for watching my second vlog our vlog number two um, vlog number three will most likely be the day of my procedure I will well 
it probably won't go out till Friday or Saturday, but I'll try to record everything I can going in, inside, waking up, hopefully. I can have one of the nurses do it for me, record me waking up, um, walking out to the car. Well, I have someone that's gonna pick me up, my mother's gonna pick me up. Um, but I will get all the footage I can. Hopefully the doctor will take pictures of the screen while I'm out. So apparently I'm supposed to be asleep or knocked out. So if I give him my camera, you think the nurse will do a little favor and um, record it for me? You can see me on, that'd be great. You can see me on the bed with a big old camera tube down my throat. I think that would be awesome. They probably won't do it, but hey, I'll try anyway, why not? Worst they can do is say no. But, um, so I'll see you guys at the end of the week. Hopefully you guys have a great week. Hopefully you guys have a great 4th of July weekend. Um, be safe. It's a crazy time in the world. And every month is something new. Down here in Florida, for July, we now have brain-eaten amoebas. What is going on? It's like every month, something new. Every month, something new. But in Florida, we have a brain-eating amoeba. So yeah, we got that. And then it's hurricane season, so I can see about three category fives hitting West Palm where I live back to back to back. And I'll blog every minute of it. I might look like Dorothy flying in a twister, but hey, I'm gonna get that footage. Y'all have a good night, be safe, bless.